Well, here we go then. The cars all lined up. Some of the most glamorous GT Gran Turismo cars from the early part of the 1960s. All beautifully clean start. And uh, you can see out front the uh, silver Ferrari did get its power down best because uh, Wilmot went up in smoke in the middle in the Aston Martin. That's a great view from uh, Cottingham. And uh, as they go up into Magic for the first time, it was really exciting. But look at that. Joe Macari just ceded the lead to Adrian Wilmot uh, and to Rob Hall in the early stages. And uh, just did as he said, kept it all clean. Rob Hall kicked up the dust. Wilmot went a bit sideways. And uh, there were some superb moments. That's Oliver Bryant coming down the inside of Ian Dalgleish. Dalgleish gets really sideways. Dalgleish then spins and uh, goes wallop into the tyre wall. The uh, Jaguar is off as well. The safety car then comes out. By that stage, of course, the White Aston, um, who already had its own moment and backed itself into the barriers. Uh, there is Patrick Blakeney Edwards waiting to take over from Martin Hunt. Uh, we've got uh, plenty of pit action. In comes uh, Rob Hall to hand over the car that was the leader to Katerina Kivalova. Battle continues, and that was when Tom Christensen, nine time Le Mans winner, hounded down uh, Simon Hadfield. And uh, there was Andrew Smith, who had the lead. Christensen, the great Dane, homing in uh, on him in the closing stages. And you can see as they dance through St. Mary's there, the Ferrari looking so assured, and then blast past the Jaguar down the lap and straight. Joe Macari's biting what's left of his fingernails in the pits. He's the uh, owner and entrant starter of that car. And uh, here we go. This is the moment where uh, the Aston uh, of Hadfield got squeezed out over the grass and uh, the blue flags waving and uh, bits and pieces flying around. But uh, Hadfield didn't stop. The brakes are glow on the lead Ferrari. And Christensen came through to take an absolutely wonderful victory over the Aston Martin of Hadfield and Smith's Jaguar E-Type. I mean, I've been insulted by Alan Menu. I've been strangled by Ricard Rydell. Very grunty Nissan engine in the back, as we heard down there on the start line.